And so this is a quick comparison of the Milena and the Sticky Bricks Vaporizer. Um, personally, I use this one more every day, but I do think this one is my favorite overall vaporizer. Um, but I don't really like to compare them because they are so different. This one is butane driven, this one is flame powered, and there are advantages and disadvantages to both. Um, but a question I get asked a lot is, do butane vapes taste like butane? No. If your lighter is working properly, it definitely does not taste like uh, butane. But the reason why I like this one more, like I said, is because portable use, I can take it out the uh, house all the time and use it in public. This one would draw a little bit more attention. But again, out of the two, I would have to say this one would be my favorite over my favorite out of the two for overall vape. So, to compare the two use-wise, let's see here. But, Split that up in there. And try to get the same amount of each. The brick does have a way larger capacity um, and it's much more session friendly. Um, if you're hanging out with friends, they both do have a slight learning curve. I'd say they're fairly about the same learning curve, but that is something to be aware of. So go ahead and try them out. The one thing I do like about the butane over the batteries is the ability to adjust the flame size as you want. Whereas batteries, once they start to taper off, the only uh, recourse is to get a fresh battery, which if you like running um, high temp sessions, could be strenuous on your batteries over time. So I do like the butane because you could adjust it more. This material is a little bit more moist than I generally like, but that's the reason why the production may be a little bit lower on the first few hits. <coughs> So both of these vaporizers do require a stir here and there to keep everything good. 